fence. Okay. That always creeps me out. Okay. Three, this is my my mark. I'm a film major, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> um, hi guys, it's Bailey back with another episode of AmbassaCast. And today is a little special. We have two of our senior tour guides joining us today, kind of getting to share and reflect on their experiences now finishing up their four years at Biola. So yeah, I'm just going to ask them some questions. And so we can kind of hear from them from their experiences and you guys get to kind of get an insight on what it's like to really be a Biola student. But before that, um, we're all going to introduce ourselves, but I'll go first. As you guys know, my name is Bailey Captain. I'm a junior cinema and media arts major with a minor in business administration. I'm from Costa Mesa, California, and a hobby of mine, I would say is reading. I'm a huge, these people know I'm a huge reading nerd. So as my lovely bookshelf behind me. But now I'm gonna have my friends introduce themselves. Yep, so I'm Nathan. I am a psychology major situated usually in Torrance, California in SoCal. And one of my favorite hobbies probably would have to be just anything music. So I love playing my guitar, so yeah. And I'm Anna. I am an intercultural studies major and a minor in international and community development. I'm from Northern California and grew up in my childhood in Maui, Hawaii. And I am a very multi-hobby, multi-passionate individual, but I love reading. I love running. I run half marathons, working towards a marathon. I danced for 17 years, so I love dancing, surfing, really anything that moves me <laughs> I love doing just casual flex it's okay um <laughs> well I think I already know the answer to this question for you both of you potentially but you, it's been four years at Biola now almost what was the best Biola student event you went to yeah so I guess I can start um to make it very very um generic definitely mock rock has to be my favorite um and definitely has a lot more to say on it than I had and probably, but it was just such a great experience. Um, I didn't get to participate in one, but we did this epic waiting in line thing where the day before we would buy like Monopoly and we bought this game called like Super Fight, which is super fun. Um, and then literally we were at the point of the line where we can like cycle our friends like off to the cafeteria because the line stretches out around that walkway. And so there's just a lot of good memories and the dancing itself was great. Um, there was this one um, with, Dr. Seuss. I forgot what happened, but there was this thing where it was really funny where someone was like, oh no, Dr. Seuss has gone missing. <laughs> I was just like, that was hilarious. But maybe it's just my dad humor. But anyways, <laughs> that's kind of wrapping up all my thoughts. Well, I would have to agree to that as well. I, if you've ever talked to me, I love mock rock. Uh, essentially what it is, it's this giant lip syncing dance competition that takes place at Biola, takes place in the gym, and the entire school comes out. People like Nathan and a ton of other people will camp out the night before, play games in the waiting line. The community comes out, and there's six different teams of around 50 to 80 students, and we create a 10-minute long choreographed lip syncing dance competition and it sounds so strange but having a small Christian school like we get really into random things like that so I coming into Biola knew I wanted to be a part of it so my first day of school I asked my orientation leader how do I do this how do I get on a mock rock team so my freshman year I was a part of a team I was the lead girl in that and then my sophomore year I was able to take over that team with one of my best friends we choreographed it we led it and we ended up winning so that was for sure my favorite student experience I've loved being a part of it I've loved leading it encouraging people throughout the process choreographing and just teaching people who have never danced before that they can do something challenging and new and I love just being in front of our school in that way and serving too look them up on YouTube they're super fun you can see the part that Nathan just redid and <laughs> choreographed right then <laughs> Awesome. I have not participated. Maybe my senior year. We'll see. We'll see. I used to do that stuff in high school. And then another question, we're going to get more, more serious with it. Um, since you are now approaching your last semester at Biola, um, would you change anything or give advice to prospective students on what to look for in a university, especially considering Biola? So obviously our job as ambassadors is to talk to you guys about like applying for schools, but is there something almost you wish, oh, I wish I asked this question now that I'm like been in um, college for almost four years. So yeah, I don't know if that makes sense, but kind of what maybe specific advice would you give like now, maybe you could give different advice when you like, or when you were a freshman, but now being a senior, like what advice would you give? Yeah, 
Um, I think especially since we have the privilege of calling a lot of prospective students, a thing I tell them a lot is to really look at if it will help you grow, um, which one great way, again, is just to talk to people who are in admissions, whether it is from Biola or other people, um, get to know their story because a lot of people um, can tell you what it looks like from just a surface level perspective. But more than that, you don't really get to see on their websites like who is um, enjoying their life there. Are there really vibrant communities? Are there places where your interests are going to be at? Um, and so for me, for Biola especially, it was important to just hear from alumni. Um, also just to know what Biola stood for. Because for me, again, faith was a big priority when it came to applying for colleges. So um, that would probably be a big one. And then beyond that, definitely take time to just figure out, again, just what are you looking for um, in a college and making sure you ask those. So maybe that's a more of an umbrella question, but I think stories in particular is kind of my big um, go to when it comes to figuring out what you want in a college. Yeah, I would for sure echo the stories because that really shows you what, you know, students who have been to Biola or any college, what was important to, to them, what, they, what makes them excited, what stirs their heart. And so I think looking back, every everybody told me you know look for a place you can picture yourself at that makes you excited I'm like that sounds so cheesy like what am I what does that even mean and then when I toured Biola it made sense I'm like I'm excited about coming to this place this place actually feels like home I have peace so all those things that you're like how does that even make sense follow after that of what what type of place makes me excited what does Biola have or other colleges have that I would be excited to do what stirs my heart what place makes me actually feel like home and for sure what Nathan was saying ask people their stories people will be honest and people are, are wanting to share what Biola and college was like that's why we're here that's why we have this job is because we want to share what Biola was like and why we love it too um, but I think there's this idea around what stirs my heart where what am I excited to go to because if you're not excited to go to college then you're not going to like it if you're not wanting to go so going at, going after a place and an idea that makes you excited and stirs your heart too and I've said it better myself, guys. And this is why we're why we're created our job because we just generally want to share our stories. And it's honestly, I think we can all agree, it doesn't really feel like a job. It kind of feels like the dream, and just getting to talk about what we love and just nerd out about books and podcasts and playing Among Us together, you know, things like that. Um, I was really but, bad at it. I don't know how to play it. So. <laughs> I hit the wrong button all the time. It's okay. I just got it on the switch. So it's okay. So I'm kind hey. of learning on the switch. Um, I have one last question. It's gonna be kind of compact and heavy. But um, so it's kind of so it's kind of two parts. So like, how do you feel leaving Biola? But at the same time, I think, how do you feel? Because like, what ways do you think you have changed? personally spiritually mentally academically during your time at Biola so like how do you feel leaving like maybe addressing some of those certain areas specifically how you feel like you've changed yeah um it's definitely to be very honest um definitely a scary experience you are going into what we like to call the Biola bubble going out of it and really going into the real world um but it's exciting at the same time because you get to see really where you've come from um and what um we can put um kind of on the field when we are going into the outside world and how we can be a light. Um, that's really just helped in terms of what Biola shaped me in terms of, oh, especially spiritually in the terms of um, integration. Like that is definitely a buzzword. You're gonna hear it like a lot of different times here, but it is so important to really know just how everything is related to God, whether it is what you're passionate about or even just random things um, that you might not be interested in out, um, about, sorry. But it was really cool, for example, like my history class, I don't, I don't like history. Um, and still being able to figure out just like, wow, like God is still present in our history and how he's intertwined um, within the generations that have come before us. And so just things like that have helped me to just understand, not only just to engage with the world um, in that kind of wonder-like way, but also just to um, use your mind. I think I came from a uh, high school um, faith journey where I was definitely like me and you against the world God and like blind faith and like let's just go for it and just realizing that it says love the Lord your God with all your mind kind of just opened my eyes to that of like wow that is something that I didn't really think about that God was asking me to do so all in all um, it's been really great other than that um, just being learning really how adult life works I think college is a great time for that more than just learning about your major it's such a great time to learn about yourself and Am I a morning person? Am I a night owl? Um, how do I do planning? How does that work? 
how are friends supposed to work when they're not in my classes? That was a second semester thing where I was like, we're going to be best friends forever. And then some people like weren't in my classes anymore. And I'm like, whoa, reality is weird because all of a sudden I don't see them anymore. And so there's just a lot of different things that you learn. And so for me, I think I'm coming out just learning better how I can use my faith um, in the fields that I'm going into and as well as just understanding how just socially work-wise, um, spiritually, how I need to be planning my life in order to make sure that it's really just holistic. Mm -hmm. Well, if you would ask me, how do I feel leaving Biola? I would say unwell because I, not in like a, I'm scared of the future. I don't feel prepared, but in like a, I love Biola so much that I am so sad at the idea of not being there anymore. But that being said, everything that Nathan was saying, I feel so prepared for the future. Biola has taught me so much that there is nothing to be afraid of in the future. I just have loved Biola and my time there so much that I'm sad to not be living with 40 girls on the floor anymore or to have events such as Mock Rock or to be in classrooms with professors and be constantly learning from them as well. Um, but I have grown in so many ways from Biola. I feel prepared for the future. I feel ready for it. I feel ready to find a job. Biola has prepared me academically and professionally to handle multiple internships, to know how to apply for internships, to know how to network and connect with people, to be able to feel as though I can be a competent worker in the real working world as a Christian and to not compromise that wherever I go, whether it's a Christian field or a secular field. I know what I believe. I'm confident in that and I know how to work hard and work well. Um, Biola has also taught me really, you know, it's a group of students coming together. Everybody will talk about how closely knit the community at Biola is, and it's so true. And, but we're all so different. And Biola has really showed me how to see every person too, as being somebody made in the image of God. Um, I had never gone to a Christian school before. I had only gone to Christian church, obviously. My dad's a pastor, so I was very used to to it, but I'd never been surrounded by so many Christians in one place. And I also came in with preconceived notions of what I believed in high school was cool and what wasn't cool, who did the cool things, who didn't do the cool things. And Biola really taught me to see too, no, Anna, you are all here together on mission. You are all, there is not something that makes someone better than another person. There is not something that's cooler than another thing that you come from high school believing. You are all truly here together. You're striving after a common goal. Um, your love loving one another, you're working hard together, and you're seeing everybody made in the image of God as well. And so I think having that community has really showed me to see everybody being made in that, that I can now look to other places, look beyond Biola, look to my future work fields, look to my future mission fields, and seeing everybody I come into contact with, of they're made in the image of God. Okay, now how can I love them well? How can I carry the name of God well into this situation, no matter what it may be? But yeah, like Nathan was saying, you also learn, do I like mornings? Do I like evenings? I learned that I like mornings. I don't really like evenings, but in college, I was up late. So you learn that. You learn how to organize. You learn how to plan. You learn how to work hard. You learn how to disagree. You learn how to forgive. You learn how to make up all those different lessons. And I'm so thankful for Biola. I, I've loved it. I, I miss it. And I'm not even done with it yet. And I miss it so much. And it's been such a huge blessing. Wow. I, that honestly makes me emotional. It's kind of crazy. Cause I know this probably like you guys were in my shoes last year and I'm going to be in your shoes in a year, which is so crazy, but, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for your time for coming on the, my podcast today. Um, guys get to know your tour guys get to know your admissions people genuinely. Like I, we get, we love telling you the stories. We love getting into the hard nitty gritty things. Kind of what Anna was just talking about. And just, you know, this is, it's, the most unique four years in your life it's not high school um in the best and worst ways possible so um we just um are praying for you guys as your journey through um higher education is starting and just thank you guys so much for listening um you can message us on zimi if you want us to talk about any topics dm us on instagram at bio admissions and yeah have a great day guys bye